Welcome back. Today we're going to be installing the bow buddy uh, on our trailer. It's another rock guard for our, uh, our new boat. So we opened up the box and we kind of spread it out here on the table. Looks pretty straightforward. Some of it's actually pre-assembled and uh, yeah, it comes with uh, everything you need. And this is all the stuff laid out here. I think my tools are there. You're going to need a half inch wrench, it says, and a 7 16 inch wrench. And other than that, in the instructions, it looks pretty straightforward, so we'll see. But I'm going to install it, take you along with us, and we'll see how it goes. So, I think we'll start with this and these. I guess the instructions, the wind doesn't blow them away on me. Try this. So this goes that way. Part of this will be just trying to get it nice and straight. And this one here goes that way. Probably start a couple of these and uh, try and keep it straight and line it up a bit. The instructions look simple, so we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. I would assume part of the important part of this would be getting this lined up straight. And uh, so I'll probably just put these all in and slowly tighten them, keeping it straight and eyeballing it along the way. Get a couple in here across from each other, then I'll get the other two in. And I'm assuming every trailer is different the way our trailer set up here. We've got the swing tongue. So I'm assuming here, once I get it all together and everything like that, I'll have to, uh, if I want to swing the tongue over for storage in the, in the garage, I'll probably have to take, take the one side off. But the one thing with this one, it's the reason why I picked up this one, is it comes apart. There's like kind of quick connects on it. So... It should be easier to take apart if, if we need to, to, to swing the tongue in. I can't hang on to anything. Take this one off, I forgot to put my lock nut on that side. Pretty long, uh, pretty long bolts on this here, but it's obviously made for, to fit on multiple different kinds of trailers. So you didn't skimp on the bolt size, that's for sure. But yeah, we were, uh, We had the, uh, what do you call them on there? The rock tamers we installed on the truck and they worked good, but uh, we noticed still the odd rock was getting through. It's kind of hard when you're on gravel not to have some rocks get through. And you know, to protect the investment of the boat there, we wanted to make sure we, uh, we thought it was a good idea to, to, to get this, uh, this bow buddy. 
loosen these up and just keep everything nice and straight. As straight as you can. I think that'll be, that looks nice and straight. Everything looks lined up. And then probably the best thing to do would be just tighten a little bit as you, on each side as you go. I'll get them finger tight here and then I'll use the wrench, but just to keep everything lined up. If you over torque on one side, it'll just pull everything. It'll pull the other side out of line. So, I don't know if I need the wrench on the bottom or not. We'll find out here. That's not turning them. Yeah, I'm just trying to tighten these up a little bit, nice and nice and even. Crazy. I'll just check the alignment again. Everything still looks. Everything still looks straight. It does say in the instructions not to, to over torque these. So I'll just be careful of that. I'm still. They're not overly tight yet. Just as you keep going around, it's tightening slowly on on each each one to get a nice even fit. One of the first trips we went down, took it down some, <clears throat> some gravel road to get to the lake and the cabin we were staying at, and I noticed a few rocks getting through, which is never uh, never what you want to see. So we started researching a little bit, and we came across these ones. Price was reasonable. Reasonable. Uh, Fairly reasonably priced anyway. And the installation part of it looked pretty easy. Like I said, is one of the reasons why we got it. That and we'd be able to, to pull it apart. We'll show you that in a, in a bit, how they're designed to kind of, they just kind of snap together and pretty much tighten the way we want. Like it says, you don't over, over torque them. Yeah, I think we've got everything. I'll just double check this side. Everything feels like it's nice and snug. Yeah, I won't go any tighter than that. That seems good. All right, off to the next step here. Got this, goes here, and it just slips in. There's a pin here, and that goes in there, locks in, and then this part here is uh, adjustable, but from what I can tell here, just eyeballing this, I think we're we're okay. So I am gonna I'm gonna tighten this up. I think that's the spot. I can always adjust it later. Everything everything about this seems fairly straightforward. So I'm just tighten this up and uh, give it a shot here. So far, it's been really. Uh, Really straightforward to use or to set up. The only thing is you'll see it. I'm wondering when uh, 
I get the si or the uh, the actual mesh on here how it'll be for this. It'll be awful close to my to my winch, but the way they're designed, you can get it that looks nice and tight. Um, there's Velcro here, which you'll see in a second. Um, it should give me access to the to the winch cable. All right, so which side is which here? This so we'll see. I don't know which side would be easier to put in first. Get that in there. Get that top in. That snaps in there. That's pretty straightforward. Get this bottom in. in. Pretty, pretty painless. <clears throat> uh, maybe I'll try the top here on this one. Yeah, they just snap in so pretty easy, pretty straightforward. There's that one. I think I'm wrong the wrong side on this one again. I'll come around so I can see that. That one went in nice. Yeah, and then you've got these Velcros here. I'll just tighten them up, I guess, cinch them up. Meant to be tight so you can, the rocks, Balance off it good. Yeah, that'll give her some extra protection for sure. Yeah, and I can reach the reach the wrench no problem there. A little bit in the way, but it's not too bad. Can always take them off. Like I said, they come off really quick. And there was bungees with it. So I think these just go on here and then you take them around to your, your boat trailer. That gives it a little bit more stability. Put this side on. There we go. Yeah, I think that's a good height. That'll that'll protect it. Fairly sturdy. Yeah, it'll give it some extra protection. And that was that was quick. That was like ten minutes or so. Awesome. Well, I guess that's how you install the the bow buddies, the rock guards. Extra protection, yeah. The odd one I did get, I got kind of, well, it's hard to see, I guess, but I kind of got them about this height on the, above, somehow they went flying above the, uh, the rock tamers I had, so I'm not sure. Uh, but other than that, yeah, that was painless. That was quick. I thought that would take me a lot longer than that. <laughs> but anyways, until the next time. We'll catch you later.